Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have created three beautiful bold eye looks using the Wet n Wild Cosmic Collision Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I remember that these were launched, I think a total of four palettes were launched about a year, year and a half back in US. And finally, it is available in India. And I think they launched about like a month or month and a half back in hkmakeup.com. And recently I checked out on Nykaa, it is available over there as well so out of the four palettes i have picked out two of them the first one is the cosmic collision palette and today's video is all about this palette the second one is stop playing safe and this one i have not even opened it up i have not played around with it so probably that video will go up the next week or the week after that so before we can get into the swatches as well as the eye looks do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it's notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right in the video so like I mentioned before, I picked these palettes out from hkmakeup.com and unfortunately on the way the palette actually broke and I had not even opened this palette up and it was broken. So I contacted the customer services and then they gave me a gift card for the same pricing. So I picked up the same palette again and that fortunately did not break or it was all fine. But just letting you guys know on that. So these palettes are dupe of high-end palettes. For example, the Cosmic Collision palette is a dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism palette and the Stop Playing Safe palette is a dupe of the uh, Natasha Denona Tropical palette and these are priced only at 499 rupees for 10 grams of product. Now coming to the formula of the Cosmic Collision palette, I was really, really taken aback and I did not expect how good the pigmentation is. So the shimmers in the palettes, they go on really buttery like none of the shimmers that I used in today's video I did not wet them at all it was just on its own just dry on a brush that I didn't even use my fingers but it went on so buttery so well pigmented which I was really shocked so one thing to bear in mind is the shimmer shades they do have a bit of a fallout especially if you use it without wetting it and if you do that then make sure that you do your eye look first like before applying your base or else if you've already applied your foundation and concealer make sure you do bake under your eyes so that you can catch any fallouts so just fii on that Oh, and I almost forgot this palette is gluten free and fragrance free and wet and wild is cruelty free. So yeah. So to start off, I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and this is in the shade 130 Medium and that is what I'm going to use as a primer or a base for my eyelids. And to set my eyelids, I usually use the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Loose Powder, but I cannot find it. So I'm just going to use my uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and just dust it all over my eyelids. So for the first shade, I'm going to take this black color right here and I'm going to take it on a pencil brush. So first, I'm going to go over my crease. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this one and go over the black and blend it. Now with this same brush, I just took a little bit more of the black. I cannot believe it is so pigmented. I was not expecting it, but for the look I have in mind, it is fine. Later on, we will clean this area up, but this is how it is so far. Now I'm going to take the same concealer on the back of my hands and use a concealer brush like this one and I'm going to cut the crease. Now 
Now I'm going to use this silvery shimmery shade right here and use it on a concealer brush like this one. And I'm literally tapping. Now I didn't even wet the brush, I'm just applying it as it is and it's going on so pretty. And then I'm gonna go over with this shimmery purple shade with the same brush. Marry both the shades over here by going it in a windshield wiper motion. So I just cleaned up a little bit of the edges over here. And I'll quickly add some Kajal eyeliner, mascara and falsies and I will be right back. So I finished the rest of my eye makeup, I will mention all the products on the description box below. The only one thing that is left out is the inner corners of my eyelids. And for that I'm taking this shimmery white shade right here on this very thin precise little concealer brush. So this shade is more or less like a white gold shade as you guys can see. So I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and go over with this transition brown shade right here and then I'm going to go over on the crease. For the price point, this palette has good pigmentation. And then I want to take this yellowish transition shade and go over this precise kind of a blending brush. Now I'm going to apply this yellow over and above the brown and blend and marry both of them together. Just for shits and giggles, I'm not going to cut my crease using a concealer, but I'm going to go straight up with the color. So I'm going to take this golden color right here on a concealer brush like this one. Now I just want to see how it is. I've not wet the brush. I have not cut the crease. Uh, if needed, if I feel the pigmentation... If I feel the pigmentation is not enough, then probably I will cut the crease using a concealer. But I'm just going to go first this way and see how it is. Okay, so it's fully coated. This is such a pretty gold, like it's a yellow gold. So pretty. For the outer corners of the eyes, I'm just going to use this same transition shade right here. And I'm also going to use a dash of this black right here mixed along with this brown. 
and I'm going to blend just the outer corners alone. So let me quickly add my usual eyeliner, kajal, mascara, falsies and I will be right back for the lower lash line. So I have done my eyeliner, lashes and kajal. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go over with this brown color and I'm going to take another concealer brush like this one. Or you could even take like a simple uh, pencil brush that would do. And just coat the brush this way and just below your kajal. I am going to apply this just to smoke it out a little bit so for the inner corners again I'm gonna go with this white shade right here which is more like a white gold you cannot see it on camera but once you apply on my skin you will be able to see it so just gonna there just lightly now I'm going to take off the excess powder Now I have already set my eyelids by using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in 130 medium and I have used the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set my eyelids. So for this eye look, I'm going to take this transition brown shade right here on this fluffy blending brush. And now I'm going to go over with this yellow transition shade right here with a blending brush which is a little bit more precise and I'm going to add it right above the first transition shade. Now I'm going to go over with this beautiful bluish greenish shimmery shade and use a concealer brush. Now I'm going to try using it as it is and if it's not you know pigmented enough then I may probably use a concealer, cut my crease and then use it but let me just see how it is. Okay. Now for the outer corner of my eyes, I'm going to take this green color right here. It's pretty dark green. I don't know how it will be, but let's see. Just above the crease, I'm going to take a nice clean brush like this and very, very lightly just go over it. I'm not putting too much pressure. So I'm just going to quickly add the usual, which is the kajal, eyeliner, mascara, some falsies and I will be right back. So I have added the kajal, mascara, eyeliner, falsies and everything and now for the lower lash line I'm going to go over with this green color right here and use this kind of a very thin eyeliner brush and just below my kajal I'm just going to blend both. I don't think it will be visible but it's okay. <laughs> So for the inner corners of my eyelids, I'm going to use this yellow gold shade right here. Just gonna pop it right there. So yeah, this completes the eye look.
So guys, this wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's Shanayar on Instagram and it's Shanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.